Thank you for Patreon now for donating to the Patreon. Guys, it's Vandy as well, back in another LBX Little Battlers Experience video. So, you guys enjoyed it, to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll start, shall we? In the last one, we end up facing Black Raven, one of Master Otaku's apprentices, as we are forced to fight against Z apprentices to get to Master Otaku, and we beat him because we had to use an LBX called the Deku, which I just now remembered I have equipped, and I probably should have switched back to Achilles. I'm really glad I just happened to have a random thought about this beforehand, but whatever. So, let's quickly change. Oh, wait, no, it's not supposed to be Achilles, it's supposed to be Odin. Actually, that is a funny thing, though. I really like how Achilles looks with Odin's parts. If you just, like, take Achilles 2, his main body, and then, like, everything except for the chest or region, and then you just use, um, Odin's chest, it actually looks really good. And same with Justin, if you take his Emperor, and then you just take Proto-Xenon's, uh, body, and then you just, um, take everything else from the Emperor, it actually looks really cool. And I'm kind of regretting having to, like, my personal thing of refusing to do customs, but whatever. Anyways, uh, we beat Black Raven using a Deku, and then we end up going on a basic side quest to go find um, the legendary curry for Yellow Raven, who, after we gave it to him, gave us a key and um, t that allows us to go into Electronica Tower, where we'll find the other Raven bunch, and we'll also find, um, spoiler alert, Master Otaku. You'll figure it out anyways, I'm just telling you now. Thank you, please go on in. I forgot there was a fucking safe station up here. Okay then, so without further ado, let's get this started, shall we? Yep, there is Blue Raven and Pink Raven. So, there's a pink, a blue, a yellow, a black, and there's a red. Anyone hear the familiarities with a certain, um, TV, uh, children's TV show either referred to as Super Sentai? I'm not gonna say that one because I actually don't watch Super Sentai or Power Rangers, which I used to watch. So, mmm, sounds very familiar considering there's normally a black green ranger that switches with a black ranger occasionally. Mmm. Anyways, I know there's a chest around here somewhere. There it is. Anyways, let's go ahead and get this started because I know where this is going. Who are you? I, I can't believe it. I've never seen an LBX player so cool and cute. Oh, why, well, um, why, thank you. You know, I, I really try to become, like, the hottest person out there. What's your name, sweetie? Oh, oh. Oh, it's Justin. Oh, well, um, mm, mm. He's Justin Kaido. Justin Kaido, your hairstyle is so cool. Take a look at it. Take a look like a hero. Arriving just in time to save the day. Quiet, Pink. I'm still coming to forms with my experience. This time I spent, um, this time I spent playing Ultra, Ulti Farmulator has left me unstunned. Oh my god, I forgot about the re- uh, I hate these two now. Uh, what? What? You mean you you mean to tell me you haven't heard of Ultra Farmulator? It's the greatest video game ever made. Mmm. No, I disagree. The greatest video game ever made is Little Bat LBX, Little Battler's Experience 2011. Aha, get the joke? Everyone in Electronica knows it. That's it, I've made up my mind. I'm gonna take part in Blue's test, LBX battle. Hey, you can't just decide that my test for me. And, okay, so I think she's like challenging Justin specifically. Huh? Whatever, it would be a waste of time anyway. I wanna get back to a sweet session of Little, the uh, Little Miss Farm or whatever. Behold, Battlegrounds bathed in pink, the eternity beautiful night of love, Bird Brain X7! Wait, yeah, sorry, X6! Faster than the wind, blue as the skies, pop was a raging storm, Bird Brain X2! I mean, wait, no, wait, X2, yeah, that's 2. I'm trying to remember the Roman numerals. Go! Okay, wait, no, would X2 be 12 then? No, because X. It would have to be X next to the two, and not a dash separating them. So I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm right. Anyways, we have. Oh, I thought they were challenging specifically Justin to us. Well, you know what? Just to prove a point, I will bring Justin into this because I believe this does. I know this doesn't happen in the sub, or at least to my, I mean dub, if I remember correctly. But I do know in the sub, this. I'm pretty sure in the sub, this would happen. I might be wrong entirely. I haven't seen that fucking thing in forever. But point is. Let's go, let's show off double flying LBX that should be able to fly but can't, which is Justin and his Proto Xenon, and me and Odin. Oh, did I turn down my volume without realizing it? Oh, I did. Well, ow. Okay, well, Pink Raven. You know, even though Pink Raven's the one that wanted to fight Justin, I guess I'm handling Pink Raven. Justin's just like on the back foot. Oh, Justin has the OP rocket launcher. That's why he's not doing anything. I just remembered that. I gave Justin the OP rocket launcher when I was training with him. Okay, well. 
And Blue's just overwhelming him with gunshots. And out of... I really want to use Gungnir Strike. You know what, here, I'll, I'll show, unless Justin kills him. Justin, don't kill him, please. I want to show off Gungnir Strike. Here's the thing, if a match ends before you can use a special attack routine like this, it will show it off anyways, but hey, Justin didn't kill him. Let's go! Easy. Justin kind of just did nothing that round. But to be fair though, I think Justin was just distracting him because Justin was like moving really fast. I think that's what Justin's point was. Don't win, just distract. I'll handle the rest. <clears throat> Blue, pink, for shame. Captain, you will never be able to keep the peace to Electronica like that. Um, while evil remains in the world, my battle is never over. Observe, the mighty Red Raymond, defender of justice, will show you how a true hero operates. Eugene, um, you've got to, you've got to call me Red Raven when I'm in costume. I, I like to stay in character. Fine then, Red Raven. Is this guy, you know, all there? I'm not quite sure. Ahem, anyways, it's time for my final, for your final test. Van Yamato, you must face me, the leader of the great Otaku Rangers, keeper of the peace and electronica. I had a feeling this would happen. Blue, pink, I shall avenge you. Behold, the fearsome battle squawk of my super bird brain XXX. Wait. Oh, hi, Dak. I found you at last. Dak? Eugene, I challenge you to a battle. I won't accept defeat by some weirdo in a costume like you. I'm afraid I won't be battling you. You have not approved. You have not been approved by Master Otaku to study our mighty LBX fighting style. What? Seriously? Who cares? Huh? Mm. What do you want, Hans? Why don't you take me on instead? You're not even worth the seconds it'd take to beat you. Wouldn't want your precious LBX to get destroyed again. You're the one who's gonna get destroyed. Your puny little Harlequin doesn't stand a chance this time. Fine, you're on. How about this? If I'm able to beat you, you have to join my crew and do whatever I say. You're on. You better be ready to eat those words, punk. So, here's how- the weird thing is this match goes slightly differently in the anime, but it does end up happening. So, what ends up happening is- do I have the OP sword? I assume I do. Um, so what ends up happening in the anime for this is, instead of them having it right in front of Eugene, the group is seen going into Electronica Tower, and Han stays behind to fight Dak to hold him off, and, uh, Hans does win, but at the cost, basically, uh, Dak overwhelms him, and then Hans pins him down, if I remember correctly, and then willingly commits suicide by using Breath of Fire point blank, which kills both of them, but, uh, all I'm gonna say about it is, Hans is a man with balls of steel, and he is a worthy man of justice. So now we're fighting Harlequin. Um, this is a lot harder if you don't make yourself faster, because tanking up your attacks doesn't do much in his when he has much, far more speed than you. Not a chance. Once we're done, you'll be doing whatever I say. If you're so sure about it, prove it! Okay, I hate the deranged eyes look, but whatever. So this should be really quick. Oh, that only did 8 damage. I didn't equip a shield! So... He has a Buster Sword, believe it or not, which I think works horribly for him, considering I believe he should have guns. But So he has a Scythe and a Buster Sword, and my sword is just clobbering him. That, mmm. I've been hit once by him, when, and that was when I was in midair. Okay, he's getting close with the Scythe. I think once he, get, yeah, once he gets close enough, he'll bring out the Scythe. My goal is to try to show off Breath of Fire, because we only got to see it that one time in a cutscene. And then never again. And I'm about to run out of battery. I forgot Hans doesn't have, like, his max, um, space open on his core unit. So I'm, like, unless, like, this is... Well, I just wasted battery trying to come up here. So unless the next, the next one is a battery gainer. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna use special tactic. Just in case I do see a battery. And I'll just beat the shit out of Han Dax slowly. You know, then again, if I see a special attack routine option to break and blow him, I'll take it. Come on. Oh, hi. Uh, that actually works really well for me. Get the fuck away from me, you son of a bitch. Breath of fire. Come on. Oh, you coward. Get your ass over here. Finally get to show this off. And the bitch is dead. 
Unfortunately, this isn't like unlimited regulations where it goes in the anime, and like I said, they commit seppuku, but whatever. Uh, Hans levels up, he gets photon finish and scatter shot. Booyah. What? I couldn't even beat Hans? I told you you had a pathetic L. I told you and your pathetic LBX had no chance. Pathetic? Yeah, pathetic. But you're just like me. If I'm pathetic, what does that make you, huh? We're different. And what makes you think that? I'm fighting for a cause. As a member of the CIO, and as a decent person, I fight for what's important to me. What are you talking about? I decided to team up with Lex to help protect the world from ruin, and I'd never go back on my world word. Well, aren't you a real hero? Maybe, maybe not, but I've got friends to fight beside me. Without friends, you've got nobody to watch your back. Hey, Dak, you remember what you said before the battle, right? Looks like you've got to follow my lead now. <sighs> I think I'll have you join us. You might come in handy. What? Hans, is that really a good idea? That's okay with you, right, Van? Of course. We've got all... we got LBX in common, right? We're not all that bad, Dak. I'm sure we can all get along. Hmm, sure, why not? I guess I can hang around with you guys for a while, until I get bored at least. You are forced to join this team! Don't act like you have a choice! Looks like everything worked out. The power of justice prevailed! Ahem, anyway. With my shiny mask of ultimate righteousness, I continue to defend the peace of the tribe- Shut up, Eugene! You did nothing! The Red Raven declares this matter resolved! Ultimate righteousness. Really? You haven't really defended anyone so far today. Thank you. Um, yes, well, moving on. You've successfully passed our test. Take these legendary LBX parts proof. Oh, yes, because this was a part of your test the whole time. You definitely knew Dak was going to come here, but whatever. We've now acquired the legendary part, the head, and the legendary part, the arms. I presume not just arm, but arms. Cool. Is that... A cheerleader? Yeah, um, mm, I don't know how to describe this one. <laughs> Frankly, I don't feel like describing this one. Electronica is certainly a unique place. This thing is the legendary LBX? Man, what a disappointment. Master of Talk was at the top of this tower. You can take the elevator up there. So Dak joined our team. Mm-hmm. Yep. And we can now reach the thing using the elevator. And we receive mail. But the important thing is, that was a genuine LBX. It's called Sakura. I... You know what? I don't even feel like questioning it or like even trying to logicalize it because you want to know why it's this game of all games. And this is the type of game that would do this. So I'm going to quickly save because I don't remember if what I'm about to do is going to thrust me into like two points of story. And I really hope it doesn't because I have to do quest after this episode. So I'm really hoping that what I'm about to do doesn't like outside of what I know it's going to do. I hope it doesn't like force a certain story aspect on me because if it does i'm gonna have to quit without saving and then i'm gonna have to record this all over again so i mean if that happens i'll just like cut it to where it looks like it's fine and you guys wouldn't be any of the wiser but i will be any of the riser so this is where master otaku hides out i think there's someone up there You've shown your skills! You fight like the one who studied the otaku code! As have I. That is not remotely what his voice sounds like, but I can't do a better voice. Of course, it's an old man that was hitting on Amy and her earmuffs. So you're Master Otaku? That's right, kids. I'm the hacker we've all been searching for. So, will you listen to us now? A promise is a promise, unless it's not. But this one is. You're pa you passed the test, so I'll listen. What did these LBX part have to do with your test? Isn't this the most amazing LBX you've ever seen? Sakura Zero is the first machine that I ever put together myself. Uh, of course it was the pervert that made this. Wow. Just wow. Back then, we didn't even have the kind of parts you young folks do. We had to make every single one of them, Sonny. 
Can you not talk at all, please? You made these? That's amazing. Okay, Van, let's just retract the second part of that statement, huh? Take a peek at this design. Isn't it incredible? My word, when I made it, it was the fastest LBX in the world. I also improved the movement at Accelerate uh, Actuator in her wrist for extra agility. She was a, a cut above the rest. She, yes, she was. Man, we didn't come here to find out about this LBX. That's it! These spectacular earmuffs need to be made into LBX parts. So comfy, as easy to wear. May I? No, please stop. Please. Um, I'd rather you didn't. I uh, concur with that statement. You break an old man's heart. Good! Can you please focus? Hey, I don't mean to interrupt. I know, you want to break into hack into the Janus Gate and steal the decryption code for the Platinum Capsule. You came here knowing I'm the only one capable of it, am I right? I usually am, and by usually, I mean always. I might be able to help with the decryption code for the Infinity Engine, because I'm awesome. But before I agree to help, I have one last challenge for you to face. Another test? Van, I'm gonna test you to see if you're worthy of my help. I will help, I will test your otaku spirit. You may have beaten my rangers, but it's about time I've tested your skills for myself! Controlling three LBX at once? Please, you're the only one who can- You're not the only one who can do that, old man. I'm aware of the abilities, Daxendo, but you- Can you take down three opponents alone? You wanna fight three of us? Call it a handicap, or a cappy hand, or neither. It, is, it isn't important. Whenever you're ready, let's begin. I want to strangle the fuck out of this character. So now we can um, use the Sakura Zero model. So I guess we didn't acquire it before, but now we can. Now again, here's my worry that if like if I fight him, he's gonna like take us to the next step of this chapter. But you know what? I have no worries. We're gonna fight him three on three. Weirdly enough, in this match, Kaz kind of gets the sideline, but we'll see what happens. Are you ready? Yes, I am. So I like this chapter weirdly enough because in the anime, Kaz gets like dick moved. Because, um, I guess, because Amy and Van just had upgrades, Kaz feels kind of left behind. And he does absolutely nothing this chapter, except for, or at least this point of this battle. Except for one thing, which I will talk about when we get to it. Show them what we're made of. Yeah, show them what we're made of. So there's three of them. There's one with a hammer, there's one with a gun, there's one with, um, a spear. Okay, that one with the spear is trying to attack us for some reason. Ow! Stop moving, you son of a bitch! Ow! Uh, guys, they're ganging up on me. Oh, okay. Well, that's getting annoying. Um, we should stop him. Van! Guys! Guys! Okay, actually, though, seriously, 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 I'm- Oh, shit, that might be- Oh! <gasps> Amy healed me! Oh, shit! Uh, well, Kaz might actually prove his useless- Okay, you know what? I'm starting to feel like maybe Mercy is too good for these fuckers. And instead, I'm kind of tempted to, uh- Okay, yeah, fuck it, let's just go Asgard Strike, Asgard Strike, Asgard Air Strike, B. Like, Kaz, I thought we were, no, no! Well, get thrown off anyways. Not bad, not bad at all, you're pretty strong for a kid. But still, you'll never be able to beat me with those moves. I'll show you how terrifying my LBX can be. Yes, this is a combination LBX. There's only two of them in the game, or like two of them in the whole world of LBX, to my knowledge, and this is one of them. And the only one in this game. So, and yep, it restarts the battle. So this thing is a combination of perfect Z of ZX1, ZX2, and ZX3. Its weapon is a combination of them too. If you just overwhelm him, this will eventually happen. Get in the corner, bitch. That's right, back down. I've got you, motherfucker. Oh, okay, that did not go as planned. Um, okay, there we go. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Asgard Airstrike. Fuck, 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 fuck. Um, 
Okay, good. Anyways, uh, how this happens in the anime is Kaz gets overwhelmed by them before they fuse, and then when they fuse, Kaz proves no use whatsoever. Except what ends up happening is, um, Kaz ends up taking a shot with a sniper rifle that ends up slowing him down just enough for Amy and Van to be able to beat him before Kaz goes down. So while Kaz feels useless, he gets off a very important sniper shot that while, yes, missed its original target, end up winning them the match. So, I don't think Kaz should feel bad, but I really love the emotion that it gave Kaz. It made him feel sad, it made him feel like he wasn't worth anything, and I felt so bad for him and I loved it. Not that he was feeling bad, I just loved how good they made it feel. We did it! Jesus, that was annoyingly hard at the start, because I thought we were actually going to lose. We did! We beat Master Otaku! And I'm impressed. I'd say with those moves, you may actually be able to break through the Janus Gate. Huh? You mean, you're gonna make us do it? Well, more accurately, you're going to break through the program with me. Yes, you are. What do you mean? I'd hope you just, know, you know, go along with it, seeing how important it is, but I'll explain kind of. Of course, you'll just say kind of. Allow me to explain! In order to break through the Janus Gate program, we have to transform your objects into data code and use them to enter the virtual reality of the infinite and the, yeah, the infinity net. Who was that guy? Yet again, your face is smothered in custard pie of confusion. Yes, it is. I call him, okay, something. It was used as a communication device for those no longer able to speak. I just gave it a few tweaks. Anyway, you and I need to combine our mighty otaku spirits for this last task. We'll need all of our power to enter the Janus Gate. You think we can do that? I know. Yes, I do it. Once you think you're ready, talk to me. I'll be waiting. Yes, I will. Okay, thank God he doesn't thrust us into it because I actually needed to go do the quest episode. So, without further ado, I'm going to end it here. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, join the Discord, follow Twitch. In the next one, I'm, well, in the next story one, we're going to go break through the Janus Gate. As for me, I'm going to record probably a two hour long, probably not exaggerating, quest episode. So, I'll see you all in the next one. Don't forget to battle on.